All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory, and as you guys can see, I've been hard at work off camera. I created this whole section right here, which we're gonna use to produce alloys and to produce the more advanced parts because I just unlocked the steel production system. So we now have a bunch of different parts that I just unlocked. We have the motor. So what you have to do is you have to gather iron, mix it with coal, and then that's gonna produce some steel. And then with the steel, you can produce the new parts, which you have to combine with some of the old parts. So it's a whole new different process. Uh, if you guys remember in last episode, this is the route that I'm using to bring the coal to the power plants right there. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place another truck station right here because that coal production that I have there, that coal mine uh, is more than enough to power both the power plant and this new assembly line that I'm gonna place here. So I'm gonna place another uh, truck station right here, automate another truck to get some more coal. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring a conveyor belt from back there all the way around going over this path and into the new assembly line right here and we're also going to launch the space elevator so i think right about here would be a cool spot that's a good spot all right let's delete this one and create a ramp here all right so i can definitely create at least two tractors i think let's place one right here Let's place the other one right here. There you go. Uh, do I have... Hold on, here's the question. Um, I have five biofuel. I don't think that's going to be enough. All right, let's add that one right there. And thankfully, I do have a ton of biofuel in this section. All right, biofuel. Let's do that. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab some more. Just in case, because we do have another truck that I think ran out of fuel because I haven't seen it <laughs> in quite a while. So we're going to automate one of these and we're going to make sure that the other truck is fine. Move this guy out of the way. So we're going to bring a ton of coal here to produce the alloys. All right, that's the plan. And hopefully once we have enough, uh, we're going to be able to create the uh, motor which we need for the second phase of the space station or whatever the space elevator so let's go right here let's do let's drive the tractor let's go see we're gonna um, start recording all right all right all right and right here and oh my god it just crashed <laughs> what the heck man Let's go like so, right here, and there it is. Uh, finish recording. Is it going? Yeah, there you go. There you go. So we have one going this way. We have the other one going that way. That one's feeding the power plant, and this this one's going to feed the, the advanced assembly line. Look at all that coal, my dudes. It's so good. All right. So now what we have to do is bring some iron, some our wrong from all the way up here, all the way down here. Oh, don't kill me, dude. So we have another iron vein right here. So what I'll do is go production. We have the minor MK2. The minor MK2 needs four beams and 10 pipes. So as always, we're gonna have to do this one manually for the first time and then hopefully after that it's going to be automated so do i need these new items to create the foundry yes i do <laughs> i do need them so the foundry needs coal and uh and iron right so that's the first thing so instead of the smelter i'm gonna place a foundry right that's the difference right there yeah this is getting a little bit more complicated here so that's five. So I should be able to place this one. I should be able to afford it. Yes. So I can totally afford the minor MK2. This is going to be great, boys. Right there. Bam. So for the time being, let's just do this. Whatever. It's fine. Let's do this. 
we will place this right about here. This is all temporary. Uh, let's do that one right there. Do that. And we'll place another one over here. Walls right there. Like so. All right. All right. So we need coal and iron going into a foundry right here. All right. So this is going to be the foundry right here. Let's align this like right about here. I think that's a good spot. Let's do that. So that's going to be that's going to be coal right there. Uh, let's do let's go like so. That's better. That's better. I like that. And then we'll do that. So this should have a ton of iron. No! What the heck, dude? <laughs> what the heck? This is this is wrong. That is incorrect. Let's remove that. So this goes from the middle to the middle. All right, all right, all right. All right, I wonder if I should be using the super fast conveyor belt. Hmm. I don't know. And I haven't seen the cars in a long time, so I'm worried <laughs> that they uh, crashed or something happened. All right, so from the steel ingots, we're going to create a couple of things, right? We're going to create... I think first I need pipes and uh, steel beams. So we need a constructor. So let's place a constructor right here. Now, I don't know. I don't know what the ratio is. I don't know if we can feed two constructors with one single foundry it may be the case not sure really all right so that works and this works connect this one right there all right all right all right and you're gonna pr you're gonna produce steel beams right so this one's beams this one is pipes there you go all right, so we have beams and we have pipes. Then what do we need? <laughs> I think we need assemblers. I'm missing a modular frame. All right, I think we have we have some right here. Perfect, thank you. We need the, the stator, so I need pipes and wire. So that's gonna be a problem because wire is coming this way, right? The pipes are right there, so that's no problem, but how am I going to reroute this right here? Hmm. Okay, so I have an idea. Let's go 10. So what I could do is just just move this like so. Place it right there. And let's feed this one. Let's go like so. Go like that. And feed it right there. Right? That's an interesting curve. I don't like it. Hold on. Stop right there. Let's do that. I think this is better. That's better. All right. So we're going to do that. And then let's place a splitter right here on top of this one. And we can reroute the wire to this assembler. Right? We can totally do that. I mean, I could split it right here on the same spot. Right there. And let's move this right here. So we can do that. Can we do this? Yeah. All right. This spaghetti monster, boys, is in full effect right here. <laughs> this spaghetti monster is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> let's do this. And right there. All right. So we have wire and... Um, we have wire and pipes. So this is going to create the stator. There you go. Do your thing, boy. We're going to... Let's place one of these right here. You never know how many poles you're going to need. All right. So next stop is... Next stop, we have... We need to create the motor. Right? So this one is producing the stators. And the only reason why we need the stator is to create the motor. So I don't need to store this whatsoever. 
So next, we need another assembly line here. Let's go production assembler. And this one's going to create the motor. Recipes, motor. So you need... Oh my god, you need rotors and stators. Alright, that's going to be interesting. Connect that one to... Let's connect it right there. And it should be producing motors. Yes, it is. All right. So we are in the process of completing the current milestone of logistics MK3. It's a bit messy, but it's okay. Oh my God. How did you get here? How did, this, how did you get here, man? How's this? Is it out of fuel? Hold on. It has no fuel. All right. Um, this is so dumb. <laughs> These tractors are not that reliable, really. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting process. It seems like we're not producing rotors at the speed that I need. All right. Let's see. How many do we have here? We have none right here. So the problem seems to be screws. It seems like screws are not. Are not being fed into the system as fast as I need. So I'm going to have to produce more screws. Hmm. Uh, you're going to produce iron ingots. So from the iron ingots, we need to produce... Um, screws and rods. And iron plates. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so for the frames and the rotors... What do I need? Reinforced iron plates and rods. So for reinforced iron plates, I need screws and iron plates. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane, uh, constructor. Alright, so from here, we're gonna create screws right there. There you go. This one is screws. Connect this to the power line. Right there. That's good. And from this... We don't need to do anything, really. So we're going to combine these two to create reinforced iron plates. Right. Connect this to the power. And create modular frames. I mean reinforced plates. God dang it. Reinforced plates. There you go. So this one's going to create reinforced plates. This is going to be... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have to move all this. I mean, there's no other way to do this, really. Let's go Q. I want to use these ones right here. Let's go five right there. I want to use these. And now we can do... There you go. There. All right, perfect. And that way we have space to use this one as well. That's cool. So we have rods and reinforced iron plates. Oh, I need, I need, I actually need frames <laughs> to build an assembler. Oh, I don't have any. What? Yeah, the problem is definitely screws. Look at this. Like for some reason, there's no absolutely. Oh no, these are reinforced iron plates. Interesting. Hold on. So here's a, here's something that I can do. Since we need reinforced iron plates there. This is going to be a temporary solution, but I'm just going to manually move these. Because I have a ton right here. Uh, yeah, I have 200. There you go. Let's move 100 here. So what I want to do in the meantime is, if you guys remember, behind this wall right here, there's a plant that produces some sort of like toxic gas. So I had to like enclose that whole area because it looked awful. But now I don't really like the look of the of the box like that. So what I want to do is add more details to this. So I'll see you guys in just a second here. All right, so this is the new assembly line right here. <laughs> we had to create new trucks, a new truck station, and this whole deal just to produce um, frames and motors. Frames and motors, and they're being stored right there. So that's insane. That's a ton of work. So that's a ton of work right there. So let's check on the space elevator and let's see if we can complete that research already. Uh, there should be a fast way up there from this angle. I, 
think there's a path over here to get there real quick. All right, it needs 150 motors and 500 modular frames. I think I think we we have a good production going. We might get there in a couple of minutes. Hold on, let me check how many we have. We have 47. That's good. And over here, I'm not even storing these. Hold on. So I'm going to continue to work and I'll see you guys in just a second. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I noticed we've been building a ton of stuff um, on the ground. So I kind of want to add some elevation to this. So I'm going to do some stuff over here. And uh, hopefully by the time I finish that, we'll have everything ready to launch the space elevator again. And I know we do have uh, jump pads and stuff like that. But I mean, I'd rather just do this. All right, so while I was waiting, I decided to create another assembly line on this section right here. Uh, the reason for that is because we don't have enough rotors. So that's what I'm building now. And uh, I'm also still waiting for the frames and uh, the motors. I think I should have enough motors already. I guess we'll see. Hold on. Let me just do some parkour here real quick. Holy crap, this looks amazing. <laughs> this freaking factory is a complete mess and I love it. I love it. All right, let's go all the way down here. Let's see how many how many motors do we have? We have at least 132, which is the exact number that I have. Let's do that. All right, all right, all right. And let's add these ones. All right, so let, let's go all the way up to the space elevator. And we have 150. All right, so we're halfway there. We have all the motors done. All we need to do now is create the modular frames. So that's going to be interesting. We need 500 of those. All right. So I wonder if I can repurpose some of the assembly lines to stop creating motors and start creating um, frames. Is that possible? Oof, it's going to be hard because in order to create frames, I need... I need plates. And I need... What else do I need? I need reinforced plates and I need uh, rods, I think. Right? Oh my god, how is this thing in here? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what? What the heck, dude? No, 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 no. Stop. I'm gonna have to delete this, dude. Oh my god. How did. <laughs> what just happened there? Oh my god. That's so, so weird. We're gonna have to fix this because that cannot be happening. Let's do that. And let's do vehicles and can I create it now? Yes. All right, I'm gonna place it right here for the time being. Just place it right here. How's this doing? All right, we're good on that front. Uh, I need to remove this. Um, all right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repurpose this one. We have 19 rotors here. Let's remove that right there. Create some sort of like storage up here. I guess we'll do we'll do this right here. Move that. Uh, let's move all of those rotors right there. We're going to do that manually for the time being. All right. Remove that. Remove that. Remove that. So what I need now is I'm going to need reinforced plates. Oh, boy. All right. So in order to get reinforced plates, I need plates and i need screws okay all right so i think we should have enough right here let's check this out we have one two three four hundred and thirty eight so all right i'm gonna have to move this to my inventory so let just let me just clear this real quick here uh let's go like so hmm. let's do sort like that and let's store all there you go sort that sort this all right let's see if we have enough space for this oh boy we're gonna launch this again boys finally i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's been hours dude it's been like three hours or so since i last recorded so hopefully this is gonna be done <laughs> because holy crap creating those frames it's a long process and i think i think the bottleneck is um reinforced plates at least with my factory that's the bottleneck because um i have no problems with um, screws to create reinforced iron plates and i have no problems with rods so yeah we'll see we'll see all right can we launch it 
Can we do this? All right, let's do that. Please tell me this is enough. Yes. Yes, we got it, dudes. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Seal it. All right. We're going to unlock tier five and tier six. All right. And I, I don't see anything. I don't know if this is still animated. I don't know if this is animated or not. It doesn't seem like it is. All right. And send. Oh, boy. <laughs> we did it. What? That's new? Oh, my God. Check that out. Oh, what? What the heck? They did it. <laughs> they animated it. Oh, my God. It's animated. Finally, it wasn't during the test weekend. I think this is new. My God. That is so cool, dude. All right. Anyway, boys, I think that's going to be it for today. Look at this. Look at this massive spaghetti factory. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.